Today I am going to show you how to make compost extract. Most of us desire to plant without pesticides, without chemical fertilizers. We often do get the problem that there is some insects chewing on our lovely leafy greens and fungus may appear on the tomatoes. So the best plan that I could make was to make compost extract. So this is my aerobic organic compost heap made from a hot technique that I will show you in the next video. So please subscribe to this page and you will get the notification for that. So we are going to fill this bag halfway with compost. Now the difference from this with other compost is that it's full of aerobic good microorganisms. If you leave this compost heap without turning it regularly, everything inside turns to bad microorganisms, disease-causing uh, microorganisms, that when you use that compost, you know all these compost heaps that we grew up with, that you just throw everything on top of each other? That is anaerobic conditions. There's not enough oxygen, so eventually you've got a big heap of nice compost without the fact that you know that you have disease-causing fungus and bacteria inside there. And when you put that on your soil, you're inoculating your soil with disease-causing microorganisms. And then you find all these diseases on your veggies and plants. So the first step is to cultivate good, healthy soil and plant your plants in there. And then after that, just to give them a bit of medicine, you make compost extract for them. There's two ways of making it. It depends if you're going to use a knapsack like this to spray it on as a leaf spray to cover their leaves. Uh, we will talk about the coverage of the leaves and why you need to do that in the next video. Important that this neck must not have a 90 degree bend. So this is a wonderful one to use. For that reason, we will be adding the compost in a organza bag like this but even better is a 400 micrometer bag and i've just gave mine away so i'm using this today and then we add it to our borehole water or rain water we just put it up and down about for between 40 seconds and a minute and yes you can just press it or rub it a little bit not hard just to get the organisms off the plant material, they've got a little glue layer that stick them onto the plant material. So just rub it a little bit softly, put it up and down, up and down for about a minute. When you then use this in your knapsack, you do not have any blockages in the pipes. So that is the one way to do it. Now we're done with this part, so we can throw this lovely compost back on some plant put this in the spray and spray it over our plants the other option is if you want to use it as a root feeding extract you don't need this bag then you just add two or three big hands of compost into this bucket of water just move it around for a minute and take your cup and throw it onto your plants, your pot plants, anything that you want to give a bit of extra life. Remember, there's a lot of lovely minerals in here. There's a lot of good food, humic acid. Fantastic food for your plants, everything they need. So you don't need to go and buy all these expensive fertilizers. Just use compost extract to feed your plants. You know, sometimes you get all these acids and disease causing things on your plants before they start it's better to pour this over it once a week especially for the small ones the seedlings even if you before you plant them out just dip them in this and if it's a season that you see there's a lot of insects and uh, things mulching on your plants or maybe a fungus that wants to start growing press off those leaves and maybe two to three times a week you can add this compost extract. It's lovely. So we're going now to take and show you how we pour it on the plant. So this is a stinging nettle here. There's some mint. There's 
Wilde Als. We live in South Africa, so this is a fantastic immune booster. There's a Senna plant and a St. John's wort there at the back. Even this lovely plant here at the back, everything is going to get the share. Here we have some uh, broccoli growing. If you do this with your plants and add this, we call it medicine. <laughs> But it's just a booster for the immune system. You will see that on the leaves, they will form a layer. And I'm going to wrap this so that you can see. You see that coming off there? It's a, la a layer of microorganisms that form on top of the leaves to cover the leaves and protect them against insects. So that is a sign that your plant is happy and healthy. I've just replanted this a week ago and this is a bit of damage that we got from the plant that we bought so we're just going to get, take that off and this is the way to keep your plants healthy to rejuvenate them and to spare yourself a lot of money and a lot of tears because it's so bad if you get an effort investigation on your plants so make sure that you know how to treat your soil Look out for my video on how to build this kind of compost heap, the aerobic one, so that you do make sure that the organisms in there is the healthy ones and that you're not inoculating your soil with disease-causing organisms. Happy planting!